Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is News Brief. On today's news, we are going straight to the canopy of All Progressive Congress, APC, on their new appointment, appointment of 12 senior advocates to defend Tinubu's mandate. You know, I said earlier in the last video that the battle is not yet over, and truly, the 2023 presidential election has turned to a seasonal movie. As different people have been talking and the issue is getting more tough. I tell you, it's getting more tougher. Basically on Bola Tinubu. She person who they win, that's why Tinubu win. Tinubu won and people are shouting that it is a lie. We all know that Tinubu came out with 8,794,726 votes in the in 12 states. While I took her back, I came out six million nine hundred four thousand five hundred and twenty votes, and Peter Obi of Labour Party came out six million one hundred one thousand five hundred thirty-three votes, and everybody is saying that it is a lie. Tinubu is not the real winner of the twenty twenty-three election. Now, the party that APC are ready to go out and you no know, bring out twelve advocates to you know, to defend Tinubu's mandate. And on Tuesday, 7th of March, 2023, the ruling party that they are willing to meet other parties in court in a statement by saying that, you know, if they are ready to sponsor and bring out 13 men to defend in the boost mandate. This statement was made by the National Legal Advisor, that Ahmad Man El Mazouk. Then, on the top of the list, is Wale Olarinkwe, who is also the lead counsel to the ruling party at the presidential election tribunal. You know, the All Progressive Congress has appointed a team of highly qualified and experienced lawyers to represent the party at the presidential election petition tribunal. The statement read, The team is compromised to legal luminaries with vast experience in election petition matters, constitutional law, and litigation. The legal team consisting of 12 senior advocates of Nigeria, man, <laughs> it really means that so, and the national legal address of the party, Ahmad Uman El Mazouk Esquire, is led by Prince Latif Fadbemi San, that senior advocate of Nigeria, a known lawyer who has successfully handled various high profile election matters and other landmark cases. Other members of the list are Ahmed Uman El Mazouk, Sam Ologunorisha, Rotimi Ogun Ogun Eso Olabisi Soyebo Boyega Oyewole Muritala Abrashid Ali Omezia Saiki Tajudin Oladoja Pels Akubo Olusheye Opasonya Suraju Saida and Kazim Adeni. I was even thinking that maybe first of Kenyamu will be part of the list, but fortunately, unfortunately, is not part of the list. Means part of their strategy. The party is confident that the legal team possesses requisite expertise and experience to ensure a successful has come up for the APC in the presidential election petition matters. It is also urged that party members to support the team in its effort to defend the will and the mandate of the people. They call it of the people. Wow. Calling on all parties involved to conduct themselves with the utmost professionalism and respect for the rule of law throughout the legal process. Man, it is a battle. Please, guys, this, just join this channel for the first time. This is News Brief. This is News Brief. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I will give you updates on news and entertainment. And presently, what is bubbling right now? It is Nigerian politics all over the world, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. You know, everywhere it is Nigerian. And I will give you updates from Nigerian politics. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, and share this video. We are waiting for what Atikwa Iwag is going to come up with and Labour Party. That's Peter Obi. This is getting more interesting. See you some other time. Peace out.